Overhead carry down and back. Three rounds. Do you think three is good? Five, four, six, eight. You get so mad when I just keep offering options. Just pick something. You want it to be perfect every time. I do at least. I'll forget that. Okay, wait. Are we doing Bobby jumps or box jump over? Why no water? That's the sign of baby pick your pussy. These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping. Know the real monster lives above them all, sleeping. That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening. Thought you never see me again. Looks can be deceiving. When they hear the sound of the drum, they'll be saying, Oh Lord, here they come. Kettlebells are hard. Let's go warm up. I'm sweaty. It hurt. Yeah. I like that. I figure out a way to hold them, it does not jack my wrist up. Really? Uh, it just hurts. Okay. No mercy, Chris. No, I'm just making fun of him. <laughs> He's complaining about a wrist. I'm like, suck it up. <laughs> I'm a terrible wife. Horrible. The worst. <laughs> 10 to 10. Bike needs to be more than that. You rarely get in competition and do, I'll do a 7 cal bike, never. So, um, but it's just like getting used to spending time on the bike. Front squats, 15. 10 front squats, 15 strict hand sample ups. I think we should be able to go every three minutes. Because the front squat weight's not that heavy. Should be one set. Is that what we're thinking? Handstands, maybe two sets. You want to shoot for one every three minutes for five rounds? That's going to get real dicey. That would be a 75 cal bike, 50 front squats, and 75 handstand push ups. That seems reasonable in 15 minutes. We may end the end be getting like 30 seconds rest. The first two or three will be okay, it's the last four and five. Okay, you good with that? Sooner than I thought. I thought three would be okay. I thought there'd be a major drop off at four and five, but I dropped off at three. And it wasn't even my bike or my squats, it's my handstand push ups. I need to do more pressing. So, with the open, I feel like I've taken like six weeks off any consistent pressing. So, I know there's a big difference when that happens, but that's what training's for now, I know. So, I'll do some upper accessories this afternoon, get back into it. What'd you think? I had to pace my bike, or the front spots were really bad, but that killed me on time. The handstand push-ups weren't too bad. You're doing them really fast. I just know when to break them up. Oh, yeah. So do I. I just 
still, 15, if it was 10, I would've been fine. I think it'd be helpful for you if you broke earlier. So you just kick down and then kick right back up. You take breaks. It's not. It's not better? No. I've tried. Really? If I do five, I usually am less than my first set. So even if I go to threes, and I'm doing threes all the way, but they're equally as hard as if I would've just got six out of the way. Okay. Well, so. do you. These little demons living underneath my bed creeping Know the real, my soul lives above them all sleeping That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening Thought you never see me again, looks can be deceiving When they hear the sound of the drum They'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come Yeah, here we come huh, Here we come <laughs> Here we come here we come. Oh, time to get the shoulders back to working. Open really messed with me. I trained so much less than I actually thought I did. <sighs> so I started my afternoon session off with some banded strict press. I love it. Uh, I have taken about six or eight weeks off of it from the open, maybe not quite that long. Uh, I just haven't been as regular or routine with it and I can really feel that. So what I did today is I'm starting over. I'm gonna hit this every week. So eight sets of three, one set every 30 seconds. So you wanna make sure you're starting right at the zero second mark. You're hitting your three banded press. You rest until the 30 second mark. At the 30 second mark, you're starting again. So if it takes you 10 seconds to press, you get 20 seconds of rest before the next set. I use 65 pounds today. My total or my one rep max strict press is currently 125-ish on a good day. So I'm about 50%, a tiny bit over. Uh, and it got challenging on set, set, set seven and eight. I would definitely recommend starting around 50%, starting with eight sets of three. And then for my band tension, today I used red bands. So we'll be progressing this each week, hope, hopefully continuing to build that final little lockout piece. I feel like I never struggle with the initiation. Um, However, I always struggle with that final little piece, whether it's on my jerk, my snatch, my handstand push-up, my press. Um, so I'm hoping this is really gonna help. I know it will. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. Jello. Like, ah! It starts burning everywhere. My chest, my triceps, my mind. I hate time stuff, I like reps. Time is such a challenge for me. It's like you always can do more than you think you can. It's just a struggle to like make yourself go there. Uh, then you get done and you're like, ah, I could have done another one. So time for me is really challenging. It's good, it's good to do both, reps and time. All right, so after the pressing, I like to work on some strict pulling. Um, I do a lot of weighted pull-ups, but it's nice to kind of switch it up and do some banded work. So I actually hook the band instead of stepping on it. I hook it to a heavy weight or dumbbell or kettlebell on the floor. You'll see me put it around my neck. From there, the band has tension. So as I pull up higher, the band's getting tighter. So there's more tension being applied as I pull my chin up over the bar. Um, I like to work on neutral grip as well because we don't do a whole lot of neutral grip stuff in here. So I'm doing three sets, max rep, banded pull up with a neutral grip rest about 20 seconds, max rep, ring dip, and then taking two minutes between my sets. I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays. People want to see you dead because you get to being ready for my tomb since I came about the womb. So no matter what, I'm coming back and paying you a visit. Saw it coming, I predicted, but y'all wouldn't listen. No, you can't. So in CrossFit, we talk about core, 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 core. Hey, what does that actually mean? Um, you just need to be able to stabilize and you need to be able to brace and you need to be able to have a strong trunk to support the weight that you're lifting. So a lot of times we do unweighted core exercises, but we wanna make sure that we're strengthening in our core as well, not just the endurance and the stamina of having our body weight. So today I decided to end, I want a little lighter on the dumbbell and a higher set, but it's still got some weight to it. So I'm ending with four sets of 25. I've anchored my feet in with two dumbbells and then I'm holding a second dumbbell or a third dumbbell right at my chest. So I'm going all the way down like a regular setup and then kind of crunching up all the way up with the dumbbell and you'll get a nice good burn. So we ended with uh, upper body, it's the upper body day. Uh, I like legs, I don't like upper body. So we started with four rounds, pretty much no rest between rounds, just keep moving. I took a little bit of rest because I was dying. The goal is no rest. So band pull parts, um, you can double your band 
for more tension. You can go with one for less. Try to do double if you can. Um, tension in the band quickly. So shoulders pulled down and back, long neck, and then we're pulling apart, squeezing our shoulder blades, coming back together. We're never coming too far in to lose the tension in the band. So 25 of those, immediately into 25 close grip push-ups. I probably could have been closer, um, but it felt super close for me today. So hands in, then we're going to this three board. So it's just two by fours put together, but from here, or two by twos, I guess. From here, chest down and press as fast as you can. So we're isolating the back of the arm and the tricep. This will sneak up on you. If you're looking for a good finish finisher, if you're looking for a good burn, do this. We'll be saying, here we come. Yeah, here we come. Hey, here we come. Uh, here we come.